What is going on guys? Newton here with MMO Play, bringing you guys a my top 5 leveling skills for Path of Exile. Now if you guys have played Path of Exile or are looking to get into the game, there's a lot of different skills you can acquire and making a build or finding some skills that might be useful for you during the leveling process might be a little bit difficult. So what I've done for you guys here today is compiled a list of my top 5 easy to obtain skills to help you in your leveling process for Path of Exile. Now, there's always better skills and better builds you can obtain and make in this game, but what I've done is picked out my top 5 skills that are easy to acquire and skills that you'll obtain early on within questing and just exploring that will make your leveling process and time in Path of, Ex in Path of Exile very, very easy. So, kicking off our list, let's go ahead and jump right into it, into number 5. Alright, so for each one of these skills, I'm going to briefly go over each one and how they work, but I will make separate videos for each skill telling you how to build them and how to make them most effective. Starting off as number 5 is Firestorm. This is a great skill that you'll acquire very early on with a huge amount of AoE. Upon leveling it up, it'll get very strong and accompanied by a few other gems. It makes it a very, very nice skill for early and newer players. Just because for the sheer amount of AoE it covers and the amount of damage output that it does, it's a very nice and easy skill for new players to kind of get into. And as you can see here, this is a very, very uh, simple build I went with this one. And already it's doing quite a bit of damage. What's nice about it is when you're early leveling on is you can place this down, cast it down a few times, leave it. And as you can see, it still casts as soon as I run away. So I'm running away and the skill just keeps going. Which is a really, really nice way to farm up large areas with high density mobs because it makes uh it makes staying out of danger very very easy so let's go ahead and keep running around i kind of show you guys how this works and we can keep continuing on and it what works really, really nicely for this skill as well is it works on different levels of the map so as you can see here we have a, the map up here but we can kind of go downstairs as well and say i don't want to counter with those enemies i want to engage with them i can cast this skill upon different levels of the map, which is very, very nice. Keeping your survivability up a little bit, making your time a little bit easier when running with this skill. All right, fourth on our list is one of my favorite skills and one that is very, very effective and very useful for new players. We're using Arc, which is a lightning-based skill, which uh, not utilizes so much projectiles, but utilizes kind of a chain lightning effect. When paired with a few other gems or supporting gems in this build, even early on without the supporting gems, it's also a very, very useful skill. It has a high amount of damage and goes very, very well with high density areas, and the single target damage isn't halfway bad. For new players, this is going to be a very, very useful and a very strong skill to use right off the bat. Once using early on and leveling it up with other skills, it will become very, very powerful and even is kind of a main build for some later on. This skill is very useful early on and even in later game. If you choose to roll with it all the way through, it is completely viable and will work. I've utilized this skill on other classes and other stuff like that and it's become very useful and very fun to use. When pairing this, like I said, with some other support gems, you can utilize how many mobs it really kills and takes out later on, which makes it much, much more effective and like I said, the single record damage is not halfway bad on it. Alright, third on our list is Spark. This is one skill that you will acquire very early on if you're using a caster or some sort of magic wielding class. You can utilize this on any other class as well, but it's also very, very useful for newer players just because you can acquire it so early on. And even though this skill is a bit random, as you can see here, I'm casting out a bunch of different Sparks, which is, um, they kind of fly around and do their own thing, but it's a really useful skill when you're pairing it with more projectiles and increased attack speed, which makes it really, really nice to use. Now, it is a little bit random at time, but it does cover up the map very, very quickly, and sometimes the RNG of where these balls can go can be on your side. Sometimes they can be a little bit against you, but as for new players, this is a really great skill and a very, very effective one early on. And as you can see here, the more you keep casting it and the more you utilize the skill, it will take up a lot of the room covering a lot of area, and the more area it covers, I mean, you're constantly dealing damage all over the map. So making it great once again for high density mob areas. As for single target damage against higher level monsters and stronger ones, it might not be as effective, but for the leveling process against weaker monsters, it does come in very handy and does become very useful. 
So we can go ahead and use it on the stronger monster over here. And as you can see, it's a little bit less effective. Now, we are still doing a little bit of damage, but where the RNG comes in for this this skill, where it, uh, um, it kind of... Uh, the balls kind of go wherever they feel like. They don't really come back and make it useful for hitting the mob a second time or hitting them again. So like I said, this is a very good skill early on just for leveling. As for killing bosses and other stuff like that, maybe not so much. But still a halfway decent skill for starting off or new players. Alright, next on my list is Freezing Pulse. This is another skill you'll be able to acquire early on. This is also another projectile, and it's a very, very easy and useful one to kind of pick up and build. Now, this skill is its a little bit of a short range at the beginning, but once you kind of build it a little bit, it does get a little bit longer range and becomes much more useful as you level it up and build it along the way. What's also nice about this skill is offered a little bit of CC. As it is a cold skill, it does have the chance to slow down and freeze enemies, which is very, very useful in the leveling process of this game. Utilizing some sort of CC in this game against high-density mobs in areas that have a lot of monsters can be very, very useful and help increases your chances of survivability. So using this skill with a high attack speed and increasing projectiles makes it very, very useful in taking out larger mobs, high density mobs, and even bosses. As you can see here, we have a little bit of stronger monsters. We can kind of keep them frozen and chilled for a short duration, which makes it very, very nice and very user friendly for newer players. Alright guys, and number one on my list is Incinerate. This is one of my all-time favorite skills to use in this game, and it's one skill that I use very, very early on. This is a skill that I picked up right off the bat when rolling one of my newer characters, and I've kind of played with it all the way through. Now let it be warned, this skill is great for leveling and killing high-density mobs. Not only that, the damage output for a high, for a single damage mobs so against bosses or elite monsters is very very good as well it's an all-around great skill but let it be known that it does have a bit of drawbacks now it's not as long range as others nor does it have the cc abilities but with that it kind of sacrifices the cc abilities in the range with super high damage output now it is kind of a give or take and it works really really well i've had great success with it early on with my early builds and other classes as well as rolling with it into later game it works very very nicely and as you can see here i'm kind of demolishing a lot of these high density mobs and stronger monsters without without really putting too much time into attacking them so let's go over head, head and see here, and you can kind of see how great the skill is just in high density areas and really against stronger monsters all around. It's one of my favorite skills, so I might be a little bit biased towards this one, but overall it is really, really great. It's gotten me pretty far through the game, and I've had quite, quite a bit of success with it. Not only that, you can obtain it very early on, and it's extremely easy to build and create very, very powerful. But other than that, that's pretty much it for my top 5 skills for leveling in Path of Exile. If you guys utilize any skills in Path of Exile that you love and you find great success with that I haven't mentioned in these videos, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys use and what you guys enjoy building in this game because there's so many different options. But like I said, don't forget, these are just skills that are very easy to obtain very early on for newer players, making the leveling process a little bit easier. By no means are these the best skills, but these are very useful and easy ones to acquire and if you guys want to get a little bit more in-depth guide on how to build these different skills that I've mentioned in this video I will be making a separate video for each single skill that I did mention so that way you guys can build them uh, just as well as I did but if you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more but until next time guys I'll talk to you later